Hello, hello everybody. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. So just getting everything set up here so I can see who's coming in tonight and what chat is. What's happening in the chat. So there we go. Alright. That's all set up. So, completely inspired by what Doris at DF Designs has been doing on her channel and adding alcohol ink to mugs and creating, you know, unique, vibrant mugs for gifting or selling or anything like that. So, I thought, how cool would it be uh, to do like a glass canister? And then, then I thought I really need some white paper to go on the inside so it would be better to see what we're doing on the outside. Um, and the best I could come up with for that, because it was a last minute thought, is to pop in a piece of paper towel. So we'll stick that in there. Do it up. Clamp it down. And then we should be able to see what's happening on the outside. So, right as rain. Okay, so baby cakes hello hello how are you doing so yeah i also on advisement from doris herself uh asked her about what she uses as her blending solution so in this little, nope, that's plain isopropyl alcohol. In this yellow one, this has up to almost this very top here, just the isopropyl alcohol. And then added to that, I've got six drops of 100% vegetable glycerin. And I've given it a shake so just to blend it through or anything like that um, so that is a DIY uh, blending solution so just leave that um, and in these bottles here so this is isopropyl uh, all isopropyl alcohol just in different bottles to give different things so this one is a spray a spritz this one is for dripping um, large dripping I'd say and this one is for the finer tip fine dripping so that is what they are hello hello this looks interesting I know right a glass canister and a mug so and this is literally just a mug from my own cupboard <laughs> so this is for me so for this one in particular I'm going to choose gee can anyone guess the colors not that I just put them down and probably gave it away what's my favorite color Let's see if you know. And I think go Baja Blue and Passion Purple. So we're sticking to green, green, <laughs> all the greens. Um, sticking. Just to because this is very beginnerish of me. Um, just sticking to 
two close colours, so the blue and the purple, and this is for my greens. I chose rainforest green and lime green. So you've got the darker version and the lighter version. And then I will add some gold because I love that. So you have to make sure you shake the gold loose. So it's got that little ball bearing in there to um, loosen up the metallic that settles in the bottom. So that will be on both. So let's get this party rolling. So while you're watching, may you be inspired, learn something new, or simply relax while you're watching. So I'll start with the mug. And so just give it a bit of a spray and a wipe over with just the plain alcohol. Just to get any residue, fingerprints or anything off the outside. I just tried to lift you up a little bit okay so with this we put some blending solution and we're going to let it just drip down so eventually um, I've been looking into cup turners and another thing like um, that the fabulous Doris has inspired in me um, to create creative ideas just flowing. So that one needs to just dry out a bit. Just blowing on that. there and I might just do the same onto this glass as well because I've already wiped it over but for uh, for viewing pleasure <laughs> uh, I'll wipe it over again so that was just the isopropyl alcohol to make sure the surface is clean now the blending solution, pretty much just going to let that drip down from as high up as I want. Turn it around, so looks great I feel. Alright, so that can kind of dry out a little bit, get a little bit tacky while we're doing the mug. So move that to the side now. All right, my green beauties. All right, that looks good. So I'm going to be keeping this upright. I'm doing my best to keep this upright. Whew. Challenges, challenges. So preparation first, get your alcohol inks ready. And, and then the gold. Alright, so they're ready to go. And in, and I'm just going to try and turn it like um, by the handle. So, what I'm going to do is try and let it drip downward though. So it's going to drip down, drip down. <laughs> and I remember doing some baubles at Christmas time. I don't think it was last Christmas, but it was, I think, the Christmas before. 
Oh, that green's beautiful. It looks so dark on camera. Okay. Ooh. And, yeah, and kind of like used a little felt square to dab at the alcohol ink and create um, kind of like a motley effect if I'm using that word correctly put all that colour on the on the paper towel alright so because I couldn't find any felt I'm just going to use some paper towel so, so I've just torn it this is just one sheet folded in half but then I've torn the edge so it's another half I'm folding in that raw edge to try and avoid the fibers coming into contact the loose fibers coming into contact with the mug so now I'm just folding it all in so that there is a purely just flat sheet of paper section at that top. So, hey Mandy, thanks for coming in, good to see you. So, right. so I'm going to use this the same as I use that dobber thing. I know, I don't, I don't have words at the moment seems like all good all right so this one is just the isopropyl alcohol putting that onto the little pad i've created and seeing see how that dabbing just loosens it up a bit some more alcohol on there And you can start seeing some of the varying colours come out there as well. Hopefully you can. So I don't actually want to drip the gold onto this so I'm going to use the dobber the little paper towel pad to apply that so I'm going to there's enough green on there so add some more isopropyl and then some gold and then dab that dab that I'm dabbing Ugh. wait till I tell my son that I was dabbing last night he'll think I was doing a, a dance from a well known game thing <laughs> I keep hitting that <clears throat> alright so apart from a little bit there which I'll clean up later before I seal it I do have this big blob of gold so I'm going to put some alcohol there and try and loosen some of that up And deposit some of that green back down throughout that gold. So if I were to run a drip from the top, I don't know. 
how much it will affect it. Oh, pretty. Okay, let me keep going with that. <laughs> oh, where was that to here? Yeah. So I'll just let those drip down and see. Let's try and get an angle for you. Look, can you sort of see there uh, drips? Oh, that's cool. I really like that. Okay, so here I'm going in between where the previous strips were. Well, I'm trying anyway. And oh, that's cool. All right, so we're just going to let that dry out. Let that alcohol evaporate and then I'll be able to turn it on the side and show you properly. Hi Tish. How are you going? Just poured your coffee. Awesome. Oh, I don't know how you do it, baby cakes. I know I've done really late nights, but... I think you um I think you've actually gone past my awake time. Alright. So I'm pretty certain now I might be able to lift that up and show you. I mean lay that on the side and actually show you. So this was our big gold section that I tried to break up, so looks awesome. Um, coming around, and see different areas, the darker green with the lighter green where the alcohol dripped down after blotting the surface. Hey, that's a word, blotting. I still kind of like dabbing because I think my son would get a laugh out of that. So just trying to add a little bit of alcohol back into that section. You see how that created those little spots? I really like that. All right. The real thrilled thrilled oh this is something you could just sit here and just keep dabbing and then because the beauty of it is if you don't like it you can wipe the whole lot off at this point so how cool ah uh, no problem no problem if you need to fall asleep you fall asleep don't you worry about us. Well, me. I'll speak for me. All right, so let's set that one aside now and do a purple one on glass. So, oh, I'm excited. I'm so thrilled. Um, okay, I just want to, would have been really good to have some more paper towels sitting here, but unfortunately I missed getting that organized tonight okay let's just cover some of that green and this one will be the Baja blue love the green and gold together I oh, know it's beautiful isn't it well that's very pretty thank you green is amazing love the texture you know, and it was only because I thought of the baubles I did at Christmas of doing that dabbing thing. 
So, thank you everybody. Um, Passion Purple and Baja Blue. So, I've already put the blending solution onto here. So now, in that hole, let's get organized with preparation. Lids off the alcohol inks. Green lids back on. And this one. So I did sit here earlier and tidy up a few of my bottles, but there's still some that need doing. So, but it feels good to know that some of your alcohol ink bottles, because they get very tacky around here, unless you keep them wiped off and clean. So, you're ready to see some of that magic with purple and blue. I might just let it roll where it's going to roll right now. So this is a glass canister. Um, for those who missed it, I did just pop a piece of paper towel inside so that we can actually see what's happening on the outside. And, oh, that blue and that purple, beautiful. All right. So let that just have a moment. And then I have the other half of that piece of paper towel that I ripped. So this time around I'll fold that end in first again so that the raw edges are folded in and not getting in contact with the alcohol and any of the tackiness so that you keep folding it in until the, the area that you'll be using will be complete smooth uninterrupted paper towel. So, you really like that type of canister. Yeah, and they're so handy and multi-purpose. You know, they've got such a wide variety of uses. Um, I thought it'd be really cool to see how it looked on these. Oh my gosh, and then I've got another idea. Oh, that's for another video. <laughs> wow, they just keep going. So... Yeah, all right. So I'm going to do the dabbing first. So this is the plain isopropyl alcohol, soaking up that little paper towel pad that I created and sharing some green off my gloves. Sharing is caring, right? So just give it a bit of a dab. Oh, so pretty. So I think what I need to do is track down my felt and cut out some little felt pads and lift that up. Oh, I'm trying to use my pinky. There we go. Okay, let's see how that looks all over. This side does look very dark, but that's okay because we're going to come in with those drips and see what effects that creates. If it does the same exact effects like the the green one, I'll be so excited. But oh, actually, before we get to that, let's add the gold. So soaking that little paper towel pad a bit. Adding on 
couple of dogs of the gold, that's the rich gold. Add some more alcohol. So not only does the paper towel soak up the alcohol, but it does evaporate very quickly. So. Right in. Alright, so let's do a little bit more dabbing. You can see larger areas where the uh, gold is on there. And then you can see little delicate areas. So that's awesome. All right. So now let's run that alcohol down. You just put homemade fudge in those for the holidays. That's a great idea, Tish. There's a recipe for overnight to cook oatmeal. Oh, we'll see. Look at all these amazing, amazing ideas. Okay, so, oh. Okay, the difference with this container. If you go too high up to the lip, it just runs around it. There we go. So I have to try and hold it as straight as possible while we do this section. I'm just going around, letting it do its thing as it drips down and while I continue to move around. And then as we get around, we'll see if there are any big areas that we'd like to break up by doing another drip in between. Right here. That dripped before I was ready. That's okay. All right. So this upper edge is staying pretty firm, which I'm wondering if that's because when we put on the blending solution, so this one, um, this one sat for a lot longer to dry than that one, than the green. So, or is it because this is glass, that's ceramic? Like a couple of different factors. But... Still giving a really cool effect. So, give that a full spin for you. Well, I'm not a hundred percent as in love with it as the green, and I don't know whether it's because of that reason or not, but I think. From this point, I'm happy that there's colour on there, but I would like much more of the gold. So, to try and avoid the big blobs like this one, these ones, I'm going to put a little bit of alcohol into a container, drip into the container, maybe. Swirl that around and then that is um, less, it's more fluid, it's runnier. So then now we'll use this on our little paper towel pad and add some more gold. I need to add some more already. I do like that motley look, so I might not touch that side anymore. Um, 
just perhaps a little section of blue in there just blow it and I would like to get underneath here so once again just pop it open hold that up add the last of the gold diluted in the alcohol to the paper towel pad and dab it in that area there we go. All right. So, there we have it. Just set that down to dry. Let that breathe a little and some of that alcohol evaporate. While we'll do some housekeeping here to tidy up. And Wipe that out because it can be used again. Lids on. So if, if you're enjoying my videos and you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. And give the video a thumbs up if, if you're on your way out after you're enjoying it. And, you know, for those watching the replay, please leave me a comment below on what two colours. It seems to be a common thing for me. It's like, what two colours would you enjoy to see together on a, an item like this? So, let's have a look at comments while I'm tidying up. I love that. That is so cool. Do you think you could use this method on plastic? Um, you know what? I have no idea, Tish, but that is something well worth trying. I, I haven't tried it, so I cannot answer either way, really. But I'll always support somebody trying out something new. So. Bring that down. All right. So I'm going to bring the camera over, so it's going to flip. Alright. So here we go. Definitely a unique vibrant colorful addition to my mug cupboard and I, lo I love that I adore that that green is amazing um, hopefully it looks really dark where I'm checking if I'm in view so hopefully it's not that dark for you let me see if I can change it Put it in the light. Is that better? Hopefully. So I will also do a quick video of these and some photos to pop them into my Facebook group, which is so it's only brand new. We've only just created it. Um, so if you hold, if you're on Facebook, type in the search button, uh, creating and sharing with Tracy. And I would love to see what you have been doing, whether it's inspired by me or inspired by somebody else. Like I said, this has all been triggered by the beautiful Doris at DF Designs. Uh, so there we go. Two unique items created tonight. Alright, so we'll just check, check the comments, love the store too, not a green lover but I love the mug, <laughs> thanks Mandy, <clears throat> that's all mine, no one's allowed to have that, that's all mine, um, 
you love them both, you need to start playing with alcoholing. Absolutely. Tish, I think I think you'd really enjoy it. So both are very pretty. Thank you, baby cakes. So Alright, there we have it. I am back tonight at 11 p.m. for my late night live. So I still don't know what I'm doing there, but um, maybe I could do some more. Put the link in your Facebook group. Oh, thank you, Tish. Okay, I will. Um, yeah, so paracord dog collar. It's not fluid art, but it's something I can do in pair. I think a paracord dog collar is pretty amazing. I'd love to see some of that. So, all right. Thank you so, so much. Um, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Thanks for taking the ride with me. And please, if you have to go anywhere, take care and be kind, be creative. And be fabulous. Bye.